we're at Flight Safety International's Teterboro Learning Center to spend some time in a Falcon 900EX Level D simulator to learn about flying into some of the toughest airports in the world. These airports are difficult to fly into and out of because of high terrain, challenging local weather conditions, and constraints on engine out and missed approach procedures. Before we jump into the simulator to fly our first airport, Aspen, Colorado, we're briefing with instructors Jerry Atwell and Eric Santos to go over the challenges and procedures. Typically, pilots need formal training to fly special approaches at certain airports. Without the training, pilots are either limited to flying approaches with higher minimums or not able to fly to those airports. This is not an airport that you're going to just blindly go flying into. There's a lot of mountainous terrain. It also has a steeper than your normal three degree approach. It is an airport where you only fly in in one direction and you exit in the same direction. Flight Safety's Aspen course, which includes an online ground school and simulator training, takes about four hours. In this video, we're going to practice some of the maneuvers covered in the flight safety training, including a missed approach after losing an engine during approach into Aspen. Okay, that checks. Next to each other be 7.3 DME at 10,300. Check oil one. All pressure dropping on number one. Okay. I would abandon the approach. Yep, we need to do a missed approach. Okay. And I'm going to take air brakes out. Take care of the engine. Okay. 1,000. Okay. And so positive eight. eight. Flaps 20. Tower 1, uh, AN001 is going around, uh, well, losing oil pressure on engine 1. 001 acknowledged. Zero. Let's go ahead and okay. take, take care of that engine, number okay. one. Seven selected, so you keep climbing up. And heading set. I'm going to go ahead and put the autopilot on. Okay. Oh, uh, let's hit LMAV again. Thank you. Okay. Take that back to idle. Number one, bringing it back to idle. Here. Okay. And you fly it, and I'll take it because number one. Thank you. Cut off. Okay, it's really for number one. Let's plan on Grand Junction. West Star Aviation could probably fix the engine. Okay. Crossing Ajax, can you select approach please? Okay. Approach mode is selected. Localizer is on. Thank you. Localizer captured. And, and after lift we'll descend to 12,300. Okay. So I will reset the altitude selector. Set. And let's select air brakes one. Airbrakes one is selected. Thank you. Okay, and full flaps is selected as well. Thank you. Okay, crossing lift, descend to 12 3. Okay. AN 001, Aspen Tower 118.85 and ticket. Have a good day. Aspen Tower, ticket 118.85, good day, AN001. 33 for 12-3. Okay, crossing ticket, autopilot off, setting flat path angle, 4.5. Aspen Tower, AN001, ticket inbound, uh, local DMV, runway 15. AN001, uh, good 
morning, sir. Wind is one seven zero degrees three knots. Temperature one five altimeter three zero zero zero. Tower visibility is a five uh, statute miles, and we have two thousand foot ceilings. You're clear to land runway one five. Altimeter three zero zero zero. Clear to land runway one five A and zero zero one. I'll check this. Gears down along, three green and red lights, flaps are 40 and falling. It's going to be tested. We have a clearance to land. Full landing checklist is complete. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, DME 8.3, looking for 10,800 feet. Okay. Okay. DME 7.3, looking for 10,300. Very good. Looks good. Okay, next is going to be a DME 6.0, 9,700. 1,000. How did you do? DME and altitude looks good. Okay, final is going to be SEAG at DME 4.0. That should be at 8,700 or 8,800. to go. Uh, approach lights 12 o'clock. Thank you. Approaching minimums. I have the approach lights. Minimums. One red. Go visual. Thank you. Altitude. One thousand. After our training at Aspen, we debriefed and we discussed some of the pertinent events that we encountered. Atwell played back portions of the flight using Flight Safety's SimView video and animation tool. The recording is permanently deleted after the debriefing. We also looked at printouts of the approaches recorded by the simulator, and these gave us a good look at how precisely we were flying. Flying into Aspen isn't terribly difficult, but the constantly varying weather conditions, steep final approach, and unforgiving missed approach procedures make it one of the more challenging airports used by business aviation pilots. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.